Art is not easy, but I will always keep doing it anyway. This is why. Sometimes starting to paint is a whole battle on its own. I often find that to be the hardest part of the entire process. Despite always telling you to paint in a kind way, the truth is that sometimes my self-talk is anything but kind towards myself before I start working. This internal chatter tends to get louder and louder whenever I'm about to paint. Especially then, the thoughts seem to get really, really mean. These thoughts are so loud that the noise often literally wakes me up. I often get up around 5 a.m. consistently, not because I have an alarm set up, but because it feels like someone is slowly turning up the volume in my dreams until I can't keep my eyes closed anymore. It gets that loud. It can be an email that has been left unanswered, a work project that needs finishing, or a dumb thing that I said three days ago. It sounds more like 15 people speaking about different things all at once. Let's just call it brain noise. I have a lot of it. Because of this, I used to struggle getting to work, like a lot, to the point where I could waste an entire day and just get nothing done. When you have a hyperactive mind like that, it can seem like your thoughts are pulling you to five directions all at once, especially creative work, because it always seems to trigger the part of my self-talk that says really bad things about me. And when you're making art and being creative, you kind of have to have this crazy amount of confidence to get anything done, because otherwise your imposter syndrome will just shut all actions down. But I have a system that keeps me functional. I mean, I've made this whole channel, so I think that's proof enough that this works. Now I want to be super clear here that this problem is not something that other people can help me with. It's 100% my own responsibility to deal with this sort of nonsense. The people who follow my art are mostly extremely helpful and supportive and super kind people. And I have nothing but gratitude towards people who see my art. It's just me. I'm the problem here. Just when I sat down to make this piece, for example, I was thinking of doing a self-portrait, but I could literally hear myself saying that I'm dumb and gross, and therefore I should definitely do something else. This is hard to say out loud, and it's the reason why I'm not on camera doing this voiceover. I mean, I would never speak that way about someone else, so it's crazy how mean my thoughts can be towards myself. Like most creative people, I was bullied in school, but now that I'm an adult, it's like there's a part of me that has taken the role of those people, and I've become my own bully. This stuff can get more and more intense, right up until the moment I start painting. When your fears or ego is trying to stop you from being creative, there's literally no trick or method that's too low for it to stop you from taking action. But when I'm finally at my desk and working, there's this peaceful calm and silence that surrounds me and gives space for the work to happen. All of that noise doesn't just go away, but it also seems completely pointless when I'm working, because it's not helping me accomplish anything. Art needs a lot of bravery to start, but it also demands your full attention. When I'm giving my full attention to the project that I'm working on, I simply don't have room for any of those negative thoughts, because if they don't have anything to contribute to finishing the piece, then I'm just not interested in that nonsense at all. And by working on the project, I do mean actually moving my hands and doing the thing. Not planning on doing the painting, not scheduling my workday or writing about what I'm going to do, actually being in the moment and doing the work. That's where my quiet moments are. Despite what many people think, I don't wait for inspiration or an idea to start working, otherwise I would have to go through that whole mental battle every single time that I start to paint. And honestly, I don't have time nor patience for that nonsense. I prefer getting things done instead. And I've tried the other option. It was draining and unproductive. 
So that's why I went with this other option. And I don't recommend anyone else to have that sort of attitude towards creative work either. You really shouldn't leave the creation of your work up to just luck. That's not a plan. The world rarely, if ever, bends and twists into a perfect standstill where conditions for your work are going to be optimal. It's never going to be perfect to start working. Besides, ask yourself this. When was the last time when you had a great idea for a painting? Trust me, you're not the only person in the world who has gotten a painting idea in the shower, on a bus or during a lecture. That's just the way creativity works. Ideas don't wait for you to be ready. They just happen when they happen. In those moments, I simply remind myself that tomorrow I will have a painting session that starts exactly at 8 a.m. every morning and then I can process this idea that I have written down in my notes app or scribbled on a post-it note that I always carry with me. This is the second key concept, that having a way to capture those ideas, no matter how dumb or ugly or rough form, just keeping the idea to yourself, that's really important. Now, I don't start to work because I'm inspired. I start working because it's 8 a.m. And the only other option is to battle all my thought demons and that brain noise. And honestly, it's not a better use of my time. Because that way, I would just be tired before I even start. And to loop back to what I said about that brain noise that I have, I need art. Art has always kept me sane, especially when I was going through a moment in my life where I felt really lonely all the time in this very suffocating way. I didn't solve that problem by suddenly becoming a super social extrovert. Of course, I didn't change to be a completely different person. I found peace in my own paintings and the time spent working on my art gave me a feeling that I'm good company to hang out with. When I spend time with myself by making art, I get to go into all of these cool places and meet all of these interesting characters. My art always lets me learn new things about myself and it's also always very healing experience. I always say to people that if you can afford it, go to therapy, but if you can't afford therapy, do art, <laughs> because it's surprisingly similar. This might sound weird, but being creative reminds me that I'm good company to hang out with. And that's why I don't feel lonely anymore. That negative self-talk I go through before making art always loses to the counter-arguments that my art has instead. When I look at the project that I'm making, I feel like I have a purpose. Even when my art looks like this in the process, even with this one, I felt like I'm doing something important. And even when it looks like a pile of trash, literally, I felt like, I got this, I can make this happen. I don't want to lie that art is somehow easy. I don't want to give false expectations to new art students that someday their art fears will completely disappear. But I do want to give them hope that they can become brave and overcome this constant difficulty that comes with doing creative work of any kind. I've been doing art professionally all of my adult life. And at least for me, this isn't easy. But it's always worth it. Always. And despite those horrible things that I said about myself earlier, I think I managed to do a self-portrait after all. It just looks a bit different. Thank you.